Hey guys, my name is Brianna, aka Big Body Free, back here with another video. Hey, okay. Brianna Johnson is being remembered by a classmate as a young woman with a lot of potential who life was taken too soon. I just, I just, I just can't wrap my head around it right now. Disappointment and disbelief. I think I'm still in shock. Sums up how many family and friends are feeling after learning about the death of Brianna Johnson. It just doesn't seem that this type of incident will happen to her. This story takes us to Houston, Texas. Uh, my name is Brianna and I'm from Los Angeles, California. 28-year-old Brianna Tierra Johnson was a fun bubbly woman who enjoyed vlogging her life on YouTube. She enjoyed traveling with friends, hosting beauty tips, and taking her followers along with her on her weight loss journey. She was loved by many and was an inspiration to those who followed her. But no one really knows what is going on behind closed doors. Sadly, as Brianna started to move on to the next phase in her life, she would be killed by someone close to her and she would never get a chance to reach her full potential. Welcome to Viral Crimes. Subscribe and hit the bell icon for more stories. Beautiful Brianna Tierra Johnson was a native of the city of Los Angeles, in the state of California. She was known for being very outgoing and sociable with other people. Many people were fond of her because of her sweet personality. It was said that she was the kindest and most caring person one could ever meet, and she was very confident. She received her high school education at Carson High School, located in Carson, California, and then continued her education at Texas Southern University, where she studied administration of justice. In addition to being a good person, she also had a lot of drive to succeed in anything she did. She went on to complete her education and get her degree, and by the time she was 28 years old, she had moved to Houston, Texas and got her own vehicle and apartment. For fun, Brianna loved going on trips with her best friends and spending quality time with her family. Additionally, Brianna loved posting videos on YouTube. This is where Brianna could have the freedom to express who she was and talk about the things she enjoyed the most. She enjoyed vlogging. She created her own YouTube channel where she posted videos talking about her life, gave makeup tutorials, and showed her beauty routine. She posted lots of videos. She intended to relocate to Atlanta with her close friends, and she even started to search for apartments in Atlanta. Brianna was clearly ready to move on to the next phase of her life. Brianna also posted videos showing her boyfriend, Victor Campbell Jr. Period. And I need paper towels. Come on. Nothing. I want some of my big water bottles too, the um the leader ones. Yeah. No, the ones right there that say Kirkland. Right there, they in your face. You standing right in front of them, yes. Okay. And paper towels. Brianna and Victor appeared to have a loving relationship. She would even post videos showing all of the gifts he would give her to show his love and appreciation for her. She seemed to be happy in love. Brianna was getting the most out of life, visiting new places, celebrating her graduation from college, and hanging out with her loved ones and friends. But sadly her life would soon come to a tragic end. On November 28, 2020 in the morning around about 8 a.m., the Texas Department of Public Safety Troopers received a radio communication concerning a reckless driver. An officer with the Texas Department of Public Safety saw a careless driver in a white Honda accelerating recklessly down the highway, putting the lives of everyone else in jeopardy. The same Texas state trooper turned on his emergency lights and began searching for the vehicle in question. The vehicle drives off to the right, and it turns out to be Victor Campbell, who is Brianna's boyfriend. But just as Victor was pulling off to the right and getting ready to stop the vehicle, he slams on the gas again and begins racing down the highway. He crashes the vehicle in the parking lot at a retail store. More law enforcement officers and investigators arrive on the scene in order to determine the cause of the driver's dangerously high rate of speed. 
Finding Victor suspicious, they proceed to conduct a search of the car right away. When they opened the trunk, they found Brianna's body inside. Victor was taken in an ambulance to a nearby hospital for treatment of his injuries. After his release, he was transported to the Jefferson County Jail immediately, and authorities then started searching her vehicle for further evidence. They discovered information in her vehicle that pointed to the fact that it had really been Brianna's car all along. In addition, the detectives were interested in determining whether anyone else was involved in her murder. Therefore, they make a beeline towards Brianna's community to collect further evidence and to try to search her residence. They secured a search warrant and immediately start their investigation. The home that Brianna occupied was a duplex. They discussed with the neighbors about anything that may have occurred previous to Brianna's death, as well as whether or not they had ever seen Victor. And a good number of residents reported having run across Victor a few times in their neighborhood. The neighbors mentioned to the authorities that they have seen Victor pay her an occasional visit. As a result, the investigators make the observation and draw the conclusion that Victor and Brianna were in fact in a romantic relationship. They then decided to enter Brianna's residence, where they discover many bloodstains spread throughout the house. They discovered her beloved dog Cairo dead in the home. They also reached the conclusion that the security cameras located outside the apartment should be examined. The first thing that they see is the footage that show Brianna's last moments alive. On Friday, November 27, at 5.27 in the evening later on that day, Brianna arrives at her home. They see that Brianna's roommate arrived around 11 o'clock at night. And 15 minutes later, at 11.15, the roommate leaves. The roommate told authorities that Victor was inside the residence when she returned home. In addition, there was a pretty significant smell of cleaning supplies, but she didn't give it any thought. Therefore, she continued her business as usual, and then she leaves. This was probably not unusual for the roommate to see Victor there since he was Brianna's boyfriend and was probably there often. At 11.51 the evening, detectives see Victor strolling about the neighborhood well dressed in a robe. And then he grabs a sheet and covers one of the cameras with it, but he doesn't bother to cover the second camera that's located outdoors. They are thus able to see everything that he is going to do immediately before it happens. They observe Victor walking outside into the vehicle, back into the car, up to the front door, and then they see Victor putting Brianna's body in the trunk of the car. This all takes place around 11.58 pm. The next time Victor is observed on camera, he is seen exiting the home around 5 am on Saturday, November the 28th. At around 7 o'clock in the morning, the state cops pulled him over for speeding, and that's when they found Brianna in the car. The investigators now have video evidence of Victor's involvement in Brianna's disappearance. And there is no reasonable doubt that Victor Campbell was responsible for the death of his girlfriend. When investigators questioned Victor about his reasons for carrying out the crime, he responded by saying that he couldn't recall anything. He is completely unaware of what transpired. He even claimed he didn't remember speeding on the highway. Police arrested Victor, and he was held at the Jefferson County Jail on a bond of $1 million. In addition, he faced additional charges of felony evading arrest, driving while intoxicated, and tampering with evidence. The investigation revealed that Brianna had been strangled to death. There were also a number of cuts and scrapes all over Victor's body, including his face, which most likely was the result of Brianna doing her best to defend herself against Victor's attack and save her own life. The death of Brianna Johnson was devastating to her friends, family, and all of those who knew and loved her. They were shocked that anyone could harm such a loving, giving person. She didn't deserve this, no one does. Only Victor knows why he did what he did and he hasn't told anyone. She should have been allowed to live her life and experience all of what life had to offer her. My condolences to Brianna's friends and family. May you find some way to heal from your pain. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video.